Hey beautiful people, welcome to today's video. We're diving into an important topic, colon cancer, also known as colorectal carcinoma. We'll break down what colon cancer is, the signs and symptoms to look out for, how it's diagnosed, and the treatment options available. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how this disease affects the body and what you can do to manage or prevent it. So, let's get started. So, what exactly is colon cancer? Well, colon cancer refers to cancer that begins in the colon or rectum, which are part of the large intestine. Now, to give you a quick overview of the digestive system, it starts with the esophagus, leading into the stomach, then moves into the small intestine, and finally to the large intestine, which is where colon cancer can occur. The colon has several parts. The ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and lastly, the rectum. Any part of this large intestine or the rectum can develop cancer. The cancer usually starts as a polyp, which is a small growth that over time can become malignant. Colon cancer is actually the fourth most common type of cancer. Now, while many cases are related to risk factors, about 5% of cases are due to genetic causes, like familial adenomatous polyposis or Lynch syndrome. Okay, now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of colon cancer. Here's the thing. Colon cancer can sometimes be silent, meaning you might not feel any symptoms in the early stages. But when symptoms do show up, they can vary depending on where the cancer is located and how far it has progressed. So, one of the most common symptoms is abdominal pain. This happens because the tumor might block the intestine, leading to pain. It can also occur if the tumor spreads to other parts of the abdomen. The pain is often worse if there's a bowel obstruction. Another key sign to watch for is a change in the shape of your stool. If there's a tumor in the colon, the stool has to pass around it, and this can cause the stool to become thin or pencil-shaped. If you notice this, especially if the tumor is in the left colon, it's something to get checked out. People with colon cancer may also experience changes in their bowel habits. For example, you might alternate between constipation and diarrhea, especially if the tumor is in the left colon. This can sometimes look like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. But if you're over 50, it's definitely worth investigating further. Unexplained weight loss can be another red flag. This is common in many types of cancer as the body's metabolism changes and the cancer cells use up more energy. Fatigue is another symptom of colon cancer. It's a general feeling of tiredness that doesn't go away, even with rest. This is often linked to anemia caused by blood loss from the tumor. Now, colon cancer can also lead to bleeding which might show up as bright red blood in the stool, also called hematochesia, or black, teary stools, known as melena. If the cancer is in the left side of the colon, you might notice the red blood, while the right side might cause the black stool. Anemia is another thing to watch for. It's a condition where you have fewer red blood cells than normal, and this can be caused by chronic blood loss. The symptoms of anemia include fatigue, weakness, and pale skin. As the cancer grows, you might notice a lump or mass in the abdomen, especially if the tumor is in the lower part of the abdomen. You could also experience nausea, vomiting, and a bloated feeling. So, how is colon cancer diagnosed? If a doctor suspects colon cancer, there are several tests they can use to confirm the diagnosis. One of the most common tests is a colonoscopy, where a doctor uses a thin tube with a camera to look inside the colon. This helps to spot tumors or polyps and take samples if needed. There's also a CT scan, which is an imaging test that helps see the extent of the cancer and whether it has spread to other areas, like the liver or lungs. Sometimes blood tests are done to check for anemia or certain markers that may indicate cancer. Now, the treatment for colon cancer depends on the stage of the cancer, where it's located, and the general health of the patient. Here are some of the main treatment options. Surgery is often the first step to remove the tumor. In some cases, part of the colon or rectum may be removed. This procedure is called a colectomy, and it's the most common way to treat localized colon cancer. After surgery, chemotherapy may be used to kill any remaining cancer cells. Chemotherapy can also be used if the cancer has spread to other areas. For rectal cancer, radiation therapy might be used before or after surgery to shrink the tumor or destroy any remaining cancer cells. There are also targeted therapies and immunotherapies. These newer treatments focus on specific molecules or the immune system to attack cancer cells. These therapies are still being studied but show promise for some types of colon cancer. Even though colon cancer is common, 
There are ways to reduce the risk. Eating a high-fiber diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding excessive alcohol or tobacco use can help. And regular screenings like colonoscopies after age 50 are crucial for early detection. To wrap up, colon cancer is a serious condition, but with early detection and proper treatment, many people can recover and live long, healthy lives. If you notice any symptoms we've discussed, especially if you're over 50 or have a family history of colon cancer, don't ignore them. See a doctor for a checkup. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.